hello guys welcome to another video happy to have you here with me today we're going to look we are going to be looking at another wonderful library it's called sortable gs and you can find it at this link sortable gs .github. and so this library is going to allow us to do a sorting functionality so let's go ahead maybe you have a list of items and you want to kind of sort them you want the users to be able to sort this by themselves or you want to maybe automate the sorting all by yourself so you can easily do this with this library and so just by installing the library and putting just this little line of code you are going to be able to have this functionality so your users can carry every element and sort it all by themselves you know it depends on what functionality you're trying to go for maybe you have a list of items the users are supposed to sort and then you want to get the feedback we're going to be able to do this easily so this library is going to allow you to create first of all a list of items and you're, they are going to be easily sortable so you can have this list of items maybe two lists are going to be able to interact with each other and so on and so forth and so as you can see it comes with some amazing animations and also a slick design so this can be a list of anything you see you can maybe clone the items you can see you maybe clone the items you see the list is growing bigger and bigger or you can just carry one element and move it directly onto the other list you see disable sorting as well you can have a list that it can that can't be sorted and another one that can be sorted you see and so on and so forth yes you can easily do all of that with just this line so you can add as well some icons onto it and it's only from those icons that the items can be moved you equally have a filter a filter which filters the different elements and so on and so forth and you also have thresholds so this must not just be these elements you can have images full images that can be sorted each and every one so as you can see you can have items it can be any group of items you're the one who sets them you just have to put a put in this tag and it's going to be able to do that so here yeah, you can set both vertical horizontal and so on and so forth as you can see so swap threshold exactly so yes yeah, so this amazing library that's going to allow you to create this different list of items and you're going to be easily able to sort between them so i really like it it's just kind of simple but slick but also very useful in certain instances i can already imagine this maybe you have a list of elements on your website and you want your users to be able to kind of shuffle them around you can do this with this simple library so if you didn't know about this library make sure you comment below and if this is something you're going to be using definitely comment as well down below so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope i put you on onto a new wonderful library make sure you check it out catch you on the next one